Hey guys, it's Jen and for the back to school season I thought what better time than to do a really quick and easy everyday makeup tutorial that'll be perfect for school or work and it's just something that's very neutral, very easy to do, and also using my favorite new Lorac Skinny Palette. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this. If you want to see how this look is done, then stay tuned. So we're going to start off with the face. As you can see, I have a couple of nice blemishes to cover up. So I'm gonna start off by using mineral makeup because seriously, if I have no time, this gives the most natural finish and I can do it super, super quickly. I'm just taking my Bare Minerals. I use shade Medium Beige and I'm just kind of buffing this evenly all over. I'm concentrating more toward the center of my face and kind of blending it outwards. I'm just adding layer by layer until I get the kind of coverage that I want and I'm actually using a dense synthetic brush because I feel like with mineral makeup it gives me the fullest coverage with a natural finish in the shortest amount of time. Next I like using a smaller synthetic brush and I'm just going to conceal a few spots that aren't fully covered. So just first pat it on and then kind of rub it in a circular motion to blend it out. Now to set the foundation, I'm just using a finishing powder. I'm using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and I'm just gonna apply this really, really quickly all over my face. And that's just gonna help the foundation last a lot longer, and it kind of gives it a more airbrushed finish. Now I'm gonna conceal kind of the under eyes, but for me, my under eyes aren't super, super bad, so I like using Benefit's Ooh La Lift, which is just kind of like a brightening thing, but if you have bad under eyes, I recommend a full-on concealer. So I'm just applying this right underneath, and then I'm tapping this into my skin. I don't really want it covered up by the foundation, so I like to do it afterwards. And that's gonna make me look a little bit more awake when I'm kinda tired and don't wanna get out of bed in the morning, but I still have to look good for my day. So usually I wait to do the eyebrows after the shadow, but on days where I don't have a lot of time, it helps to just sort of frame the face and lets me know how much shadow I can get away with wearing. So I'm gonna use my Sigma Brow Pencil. There's a darker side and a lighter side. I'm gonna start off using the darker one and I'm just gonna use short strokes to fill in this front half and then I'm just gonna pull it down the second half so with only doing my foundation and filling in my brows, you can already see what a huge difference it's made. So let's go ahead and get on with the eyes. I'm gonna start off by applying primer on my eyelids as usual. No matter how simple the look is, I always do this step. Especially for work or school, I want my makeup to last all day, so this is a super, super important, cannot forget it step. By the way, don't mind my lash extensions. They make my lashes look super long, but they're not mine. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow by taking this medium matte brown shade and I'm just going to pop this in the outer corner area and blend this inside the hollow of my eye. And if you're not quite sure where that is, just take your brush and push in on your eyelid and right underneath your eye socket is where you wanna kind of contour right there. But just do a few swipes, make the color a little more concentrated on the outer corner and your brush should just kind of follow the contour of your natural eye shape. Next, I'm taking a flatter brush and I'm using any of the more shimmery shades. This one is the second eyeshadow right here. And I'm going to apply it right on the main part of the eyelid. And that's just going to catch the light when you blink and look really, really pretty without looking over the top. Now I'm taking the darkest shade in the palette and starting at this outer corner, I'm going to create a little bit of a wing, blending this down toward my lash line. I'm just blending that out at the edges. And then at this outer corner, I'm just gonna blend this into that little contour area just a tad. And I'm just popping down this highlight shade right underneath the arch of the brow and then blending all the colors together. To finish off the eyes, I'm taking a small dense flat brush and I'm going to just squeeze this into the lower lash line. I don't think squeech is an actual word, but we're gonna use that. Stop about halfway in, and that'll keep your eyes from looking too small. But sometimes I just like using eyeshadow for this instead of any eyeliner, because it doesn't seem to smudge as badly on me. And because this is just a really quick back to school and work kind of look, I'm using a pencil instead of a liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna start from the outermost corner and I'm dragging this outward, but I'm taking little baby steps in as I go. Try to keep this really close to your lash line and use tiny strokes. Cause we're just kind of giving this a smoky effect to the eyes. 
at the outer corner if you want you can give it a little baby wing as usual we're going to make this a little bit thicker at the outer corner and the width is going to get thinner as you go in. I'm just flipping the same pencil over to the highlight side. I'm just adding a touch of this to the inner corners to brighten the eyes. And adding that extra little touch of brightness is really going to open up your eyes and make you look so much more awake even when you don't feel that way. Now I'm just finishing off the eyes with a little coat of mascara. I'm just doing my lower lashes since I have these nice fakey ones up top, but you can absolutely use whatever mascara on upper and lower lashes in any combination that you'd like. One little trick with the mascara is if you don't want to spend time curling them, just hold them down in place for a couple seconds and it'll kind of dry while it's in that direction and that'll kind of open up the lashes without actually using a curler. Now I'm gonna add a pop of blush to my cheeks, but most days, honestly, I'm too lazy to contour unless it's for some special occasion where I know I'm gonna get my picture taken. So I'm actually gonna use my blush kind of like a contour. I'm starting underneath my cheeks near my ears right here. I'm gonna just pat this in a little C motion and then I'm gonna blend this upward. So that kind of makes the heaviest part of the blush underneath my cheek. And it's gonna give you a contoured look without actually using a bronzer. To finish off the look, I'm going to do lips and I have two little tricks. First of all, I'm gonna use something that's going to be long lasting. So even if my first application wears off, it's still gonna show some color. And for that, I'm using a little tint. I have a little travel benefit posy tint here. And then for my second step, I'm actually going to put a lip gloss on my lips that's a little bit more of a moisturizing formula. I'm using the Benefit Coralista Lip Gloss. And that's just going to give it some immediate color and shine without the feeling of your lips getting dried throughout the day. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was super quick and easy, so I hope you can follow along and it's not too complicated. If you found it helpful, please feel free to thumbs up the video and leave a comment down below if you have a favorite everyday product that's like literally an everyday product that you absolutely love. I guess that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. I am super excited to share with you my jewelry collection and storage. Punk rock faux hawk using ponytails. And I first saw this on the red carpet with Blake Lively. Make sure you really get in there by your roots.